Hey everyone, it's Asher Friedberg and I'm back again. Welcome to Multiverse Media. I got just enough positive feedback to make me think, okay, I'll do another one. If you would like to join me on my never-ending quest for validation, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to help me make that quest even longer, hit the dislike button. Look, before I get started, I'm gonna make it very clear. I love the Marvel Cinematic Universe, probably way too much. Even some of the more recent, arguably weaker projects I've still really enjoyed. I thought that Eternals was a really interesting story with really complicated and nuanced characters and great performances. While not as strong as Thor Ragnarok, Thor Love and Thunder still had some really funny parts and some great character moments. I thought that the Marvels was a really fun outing with characters that complemented each other well. All three of these controversial Marvel projects made the universe better in some way. Unfortunately, I can't say that for Secret Invasion. Oh, also spoilers. I have a lot of issues with Secret Invasion, including but not limited to pointlessly killing off Maria Hill, making Nick Fury just like objectively bad at his job, their use of scrolls, or I guess more the lack of their use of scrolls, and the super scroll fight. There is a solid chance I'll get to those, but today I'm going to cover the part of the series that irked me the most, and that's what it did to War Machine, aka James Rhodes. In Secret Invasion, the Rhodey that we see throughout the majority of the show is revealed to be a scroll. Anyway, in the last episode, after the Daenerys Ken fight scene with all the CGI scrolls things that just don't make sense, but again, another thing I'll get into on another day, there's a standoff between Nick Fury, Skrull War Machine, and President Dermot Mulroney. In the standoff, Nick Fury blows the brains out of Skrull Rhodey. Later on, at the Skrull hideout, where they keep all the real people being replaced by Skrulls, the real Rhodey is released from captivity. The reveal here is that he's wearing a hospital gown that looks arguably pretty close to the one that he wore in Civil War after his accident. The implication here is that War Machine has been a scroll since his accident in Captain America Civil War. And I hate it. I, I hate it so much. To me, this is a form of character assassination. This really only gives us five stories with the original War Machine. Four if you don't count when he was Terrence Howard. Let's track the story of this scroll Rhodey. After his accident, he's allegedly replaced. The powerful scene with him and Tony at the end of Civil War, a scroll. Infinity War, where he refuses to arrest the secret Avengers, a scroll. In Endgame, where he helps save the world with the Avengers, a scroll. At Tony's side when he died, scroll. The funeral, scroll. In The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where he shared a poignant conversation about being a symbol for America with Sam Wilson, scroll. Seriously, I hate this. I'm practically as connected to a scroll copy as I was to the real war machine. I get that it was meant to emulate the comics, but some reveals don't translate to screen that easily. In comics, characters can show up a lot more frequently and in the background, so you could assume that for a certain amount of time, they could have been a scroll. It's okay though, I have a solution. We all ignore it. I am not a headcanon person, but I've decided that sometime between the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and Secret Invasion, Rhodey was swapped. It could be a number of reasons. He could have been taken randomly when not wearing the suit. He could have gone in for surgery on his spine and been swapped. He could have been in for any procedure as the character's like 50 and it could be anything. Not a fan of that declaration? I have a backup argument for the non-believers. Let's talk personality. Up until Secret Invasion, he was always portrayed as heroic and funny and kind. In Secret Invasion, he suddenly just became an asshole and was even joking about committing war crimes with the War Machine suit. Not to mention, we saw Rhodey bleed red blood in Avengers Endgame meaning that the character would have had to have at least been the real Rhodey since the end of that film. The reason I don't think this worked is the character was retroactively changed to be a scroll. Some examples of good retcons are around in the MCU, including Peter Parker being that one kid in Iron Man 2, Loki being influenced by the Mind Stone in the Avengers, and not making this guy Korg in Thor The Dark World. If this was to work, it would have have to have been decided a long time ago, and there would have had to have been little moments to signal that this Rhodey wasn't who he seemed. This version of War Machine has been through pivotal character moments, and making it a scroll that is unceremoniously brained by Nick Fury would be really disappointing. The easiest way to handle it from here is to have Armor Wars kick off with Rhodey talking with the World Security Council or something, explaining how and when he was replaced by Vara the Scroll. It's pretty easy to establish. From there, he might have lost some of his tech to the scrolls and could be one of the many groups he needs to retrieve Stark's technology from. This whole situation just really bothered me, and I think that it is salvageable. 
Secret Invasion had a lot of other issues that really can't be fixed easily, but this is one that I think can. Anyway, this was me talking at length about Secret Invasion way more than I should, but trust me, I'm thinking about it more than I'm talking about it. Anyway, tell me what you guys thought of Secret Invasion if you watched it. And if you haven't watched it, I mean, I, I, I kind of gave you all you need. There's some, there's some solid character moments from Nick Fury in there, and the performances were solid. But my biggest issue is what it did for the overall canon of the MCU. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, hit that like button to make me feel good about myself. Or hit that dislike button to make me feel, I'll still feel good. Again, it's, val it, it's validation. You watched. And if not, you at least clicked on the video. And thank you for your click. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I, I will probably come back. I am probably going to come back. I mean, if not, call someone.